Hello, it's Daryl, and this is a follow-up video to the one I just recently did about replacing the power window motor regulator in the front driver's side door. Well, since this has the auto up and auto down feature, you see it right there, it says auto on both of the front windows. You see, you hit it once, it goes down all the way and stops. You pull it up once, it goes up all the way and stops. Anytime you replace a regulator or motor, the system needs to be relearned to function properly. And right now, since I've replaced the driver's side regulator, what it does is it goes, if I hit it one time, it goes up, stops for a second, and then goes back down about that far. So we need to teach this to stop in the right place. And the system operates on current resistance in the motor. The wiring senses a certain amount of current resistance when it gets to the top. The motor tries to run for a second longer and when it feels there's too much resistance it shuts off. Well that system gets messed up when you pull the motor off or check the regulator out. So what we're going to do is we have to clear the system just for this window and then reset the system. And it's something you do with the door open. I'm not sure if you really have to do the door open. I haven't tried to do it without the door open, but and the key off, which the key's off. So what we're going to do is take the key off, put the key back in, put the keys off. We're going to turn the key on and then off five times within like five seconds, preferably as quick as you can. On, off, on, off, all the way to the run position, but not where it's cranking over. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, leaving it on the on position on the fifth try. And then we should hit the down button and nothing should happen. See, and I didn't get it right. So I'm gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, then hit the down button and nothing happens. That means we've cleared the system. Since I paused to tell you what I had actually accomplished, I didn't complete the programming cycle in time. So now that we hit the button once to clear the system, we then put our finger on the button again, hold it all the way down, there we go, until the window is all the way to the down position, and count to four. Then hold it all the way up until it reaches the top, and count to four again, and then let it go. All right, that time we got it. So that's how you do it, the five times, off and on really quick. Off, one, two, three, four, five, leaving it on, push the down button quickly and nothing will happen. That's what clears the system. And then press the down button, hold it till it's all the way down, count to four, and then pull it back up to the up position and hold it till it's all the way to the top and count to four again. When you let go, the automatic cycling should be restored if you did it right within the right time frame. So now we have a new regulator in. The cables and the uh, gears have all been lubricated. The motor goes all the way down with one touch, all the way back up with one touch. Pretty happy with how it turned out. And it cost me a lot less than taking it to a shop. And that's why I do these videos, so you can see how to do these things yourself without spending a lot of money at the shop when you don't have to. And when it's a beautiful 50 degree day on December 22nd here in Michigan, how could you not do this yourself? I mean, spend some time outside, getting your vehicle all cleaned up and working right. Makes you feel better about your car. It makes your car a better vehicle to drive and enjoy. Hope everybody is enjoying the season. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas.